Alright, I am back. And now, we're gonna go back to the PS2 games. Oh, well, okay. You know what, yeah, let's just finish the PS2 stuff, because I did forget some. Cars. I actually like this better than the movie. The movie was kind of meh. This is... It's just funny to hear Lightning like, McQueen go, Ow! Don't, don't try this at home. Whenever you bash into walls. <laughs> and it's kind of like the, um, whatchamacallit, like Monkey Ball Adventure. Kind of a bad sense of direction sometimes, but yeah, it kind of has some fun to it. Like, it's pretty fun to mess around. Lego Star Wars, the video game. Like Lego Star Wars 2, really good, uh, really fun, uh, very straightforward, and I don't know, like, I, I don't know wh which one I prefer, they're both really, really good games. Okay, Rayman Revolution, this is basically, um, the remake, uh, Rayman 2 remake, and... I should have said this before, uh, after I finished the N64 games. Sorry, I, my for some reason I'm actually I'm kind of tired today, even though I got decent sleep. Um, so I'm kind of my mind is just all over the place at the moment. But yeah, the reason why I don't think it's that much that upsetting because that I can't play on the N64 anymore. Is that a lot of the games that um uh, that I really enjoy playing, I have I also have on other systems, and this is this is um one of those um instances, I guess. Um, I haven't played this too much because I have to play this for C's brain soon, so I only I only played the the, the first level or two just to get a hand ha uh, a feel of it. It does a lot of things differently, but it's still the same basic kind of thing. Same, mo besides the hub world, same level design, for the most part. As far as I've seen anyway, I could be wrong. Um, Rayman M. Um, in the middle of playing through this game, really fun. Um, there's not too much to it. As far as I can tell, after you beat the game, there's not much, not much to do. Um, but yeah, even then, it, it it does its job really well. This is gonna be hell to clean up. Let me tell you. Okay, Crash of the Titans. I've warmed up to these games. Um, I haven't played this one yet because I plan to do a blind live stream series. But yeah. Okay, what I was supposed to say earlier is now we're going to the GBA games, not the PS2. And also, these are this is where Lego Le Lego Races and DKC are. Right. Okay, Spider-Man Two. You're not gonna see these at all. Um, Spider-Man Two. Mm. Flawed. You can tell that it's not polished in every way but for a GBA game it's fun enough but it gets stupidly difficult like the first mission is so strict it's ridiculous you have to find like five uh five people give them their pizza delivery or something and you have so little time and because it's in 2d it's hard to tell where you have and haven't been but that's maybe it's just me. Alright. Shrek 2. Donkey. <laughs> I can't take Shrek seriously anymore after all these memes. Um, it, very bad difficulty spikes, but it's a fun it's a fun enough game. Okay. Banjo Pilot, definitely the worst Banjo game I've played, it's not bad, but 
There's not a lot to it. Okay, that's just a mass attack. I'll just put that there. Uh, let me get this fucking brick out. Uh, Shark Tail. It's very, very similar to Shrek 2. Um, not as bad with the diff difficulty spice though, and it has some pretty fun mini games. Uh, so does Shrek 2 actually, but most of them aren't really much, or much, uh, just much to talk about. I believe I'm talking about all these. Scribblenauts is in here for some. Okay, no, no, okay. Then, what's in here? Oh, okay, Mario Power Tennis. Okay, that, that makes sense. <coughs> Definitely a really, really solid uh, sports, Mario sports game. There's a lot to the story. Um, a bit monotonous, because there's nothing really interesting with the dialogue, in my opinion. But the, gen the pure tennis gameplay is really spot on. Um, has a really, really fun special abilities gimmick thing going on. And there are tons of cool mini games that are addictive as hell to get high, get like the best scores in. Okay, let me just put that down there. Okay, now we're gonna go to GameCube games. I'm gonna just show this off now because I haven't played it and I don't plan to for a while. Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, I I've heard pretty mixed things of this one. <laughs> Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just gonna do this first. Sonic Adventure Two, or Battle. Really, really good game. I don't care what anyone says. I love all the gameplay styles. Love the Cherry Garden, love the multiplayer, the music's really good, the story, while it's aged and the audio mix is awful, I still really enjoy the general storyline of what's going on and stuff. And yeah, I just, again, really love, I really love the level design here, and I just, I just think it's so much better than the original, for reasons I'll get to more in depth with when I play through the game. Actually no, I'll just... Oh my gosh, this is the stupidest set uh, setup. Right. Donkey Konga 2! Um, not much to say about this one. It's pretty fun to bang on the bongos and stuff like that, but... It's, um... Kind of ridiculous when you get into the expert stuff, As, uh, but um, has some decently fun mini games. But yeah, I don't go back to this one that much. Zelda Twilight Princess. I never finished the original, but I did finish the HD remake, and I'm just gonna. I played that one recently, so I'm just gonna. Skip this one and talk about this game when I get to that. Get to that instead. Shrek Two GameCube version. I haven't played this game in ages, <laughs> like a lot of these games. But from what I remember, really, really fun game. I like the fact that there are multiple multiple characters, and they have all have a decent health bar. GBA version, and there aren't any cheap. For what I remember, anyway, there aren't there aren't any cheap insta kill stuff, or super bad difficulty spikes. But yeah, Shrek Super Slam, yeah, boy, <laughs> this should be a Evo. Yes, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Joking aside, um, I remember having a blast with this game. Um, it has tons of single player content and it's really fun to mess around in. Oh, 
Oh man, this is mess. This is dusty. <laughs> Donald Duck Quack Attack. Um, it's a decent platformer. I played. I did an LP of this. Uh, yeah, it's just a. It, it's it's kind of just a thing. All right, Sonic Mega Collection. Let me go through the games here. Sonic One, great game. Uh, Labyrinth Zone is tedious as all hell. I don't hate it as much as other people do, but I still don't care for it that much. Um, the other zones, uh, yeah, I, I like uh, all the other zones for the most part. Um, Sonic Two, another really really great game. I, it's really easy to pick up and play. And it's definitely the fo most uh, fast-paced uh, game in the classic uh, series. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I'm just going to do both of them at once. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, favorite, my favorite 2D Sonic game. So much to like, so much to love about it. The music's great. Level design is top of the class. <laughs> um, I love playing as all the characters, finding different paths and stuff. And... The story is definitely the most fleshed out out of the classics. Mean Bean Machine. Fun puzzle game for friends, but the... Well, it's mainly because I suck at Poyo Poyo, but... The campaign gets way too difficult way too quickly. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Um, I don't... I'm kind of indifferent with this one. Like, I like it a... I, I like it more than other people because it's one of my first Sonic games that I played. I had the I have the PC version, unfortunately it doesn't work anymore. But I think I think it's a fun and a fun a fun enough game. Flawed because of the whole flicky gimmick and the isometric uh camera. But uh, what are you gonna do? Sonic Spinball Underrated it's insanely difficult, but I really enjoy playing this. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. Ho Hoodlum Havoc. To this day, this is my favourite Rayman game. By a long shot. So much fun. <laughs> I am bad at trying to generalise this. Uh, I love the secrets, I love the power-ups, I love the world, I love the, the flows, the free-flowing nature of it. Like, it just flows so well throughout the, throughout the entire game, and it's just so much fun to play. Oops. <laughs> if you could see this, you can kind of see it, but, like, looking at this, this is like a... Like, what you'd see at a junk pile or something. They're so bad. <laughs> uh, Sonic Riders. Really fun game. Actually 100% of this one, besides getting all the uh, extreme gear that you have to pay with rings and stuff. But as far as, like, unlockables you get from playing the actual game, uh, I've gotten all of it. And it's a really, really underrated game. It's a ton, ton of fun. Screw it, I'll just put it down here. Donkey... <laughs> Donkey Konga, the original. Basically the same feelings I have with the second game. Just doesn't have as much. Pikmin 2. I mixed the whole cave gimmick. But, I still like this game quite, quite a bit. It's a, a lot of fun. Even though I suck at it. I suck at Pikmin. <laughs> As you can tell from the LPs I did. And I'm running out. I, I will clean this up. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Wallace and Gromit in Project 2. Um, yeah, it's a pretty fun licensed game. Um, has some... Well, it has a few frustrating parts but not too many um i love the little jingle you get when you get those 
little coin collectibles, and it's, yeah, it's a fun game. Alright, I've already talked about Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on here, but Zelda 1, <sighs> I like what it did, don't get me wrong, but I think it's aged terribly. Like, I, I have a hard time playing, going back to this game after all the other games. Zelda 2, no. You see my playthrough, just no. Mario Kart Double Dash, one of my favourite Mario Kart games. If it weren't for Mario Kart 8, this would be my favourite. But, as a second, as like a, um, second to best, I guess, this is still really, really excellent. The best battle mode in the series, I love the team up aspect, and I really enjoy the fact that, um, what was it? Certain characters have different, like, special abilities and stuff like that. And, man, this case is dirty. <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, I also really enjoy the tracks here. Mario Party 6. Love this game. Really, really love this game. Like... Grew up, uh, grew up playing this with my siblings a ton, and still now I play this game every now and then, and it's just so much fun. You can't go wrong with Mario Party 6. Spider-Man the movie game, and this is a used copy, so the box, the uh, box is kind of screwed up, but even, what are you going to do? Um, it runs on a similar engine as the Nev the uh, Spider-Man PS1 games. Um, it's... I don't enjoy this game as much, but it was, a still, it was still a solid enough experience. Spy Spider-Man 2. Now, this is where it's at. This is... Definitely one of the best Spider-Man games, period. It's so much fun to just swing around, mess around, do all these different challenges, fight crime, and it just does everything a Spider-Man a, yeah, a Spider game needs to do. Shadow the Hedgehog. I used to like this game as a kid when I didn't know any better. Now... Mm-mm. 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 Okay, Sonic Chance Collection. Sonic CD. Like this game. Uh, not as much as other people. I think it's way overrated. I think it has some really questionable design choices, but... I... I, I still like it, but it's... I think it's flawed. Sonic the Fires. Underrated. I really, really enjoy this one. Sonic R, limited in its content, and it's definitely not the most polished game in the series, but, or the most polished racing game ever, in period, but, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a fun distraction for like 30 minutes, <laughs> and, 